Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We are uh, we are here, and uh, Go is here as well. Hello, Go. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How are you? You good? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. I'm 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 living in terror about this. I think something ridiculous is going to happen. Well, well you're fleet command today, aren't you? You're tactical. <laughs> you're tactical. That's what you command. told me. Yeah. That's what you've told me. You got to give me all the the battle store, um, you know, terminology, and you know, you got to be like guns, 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 and move to Karen one. Is that the terminology? Zero. Is it? it, it well, I, I from what I remember, guns, it's been a while. Guns, guns. I think it was guns, 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 wasn't it? It's very much militaristic, isn't it, Battlestar? You know, but there are definitely guns in it. I will, I will agree with you there. You, you got it. You, you can't say. You got to say a different type of f word. In the Gap Battlestar universe, do you remember what it is? Um, Fibonacci. Fef. Frack. Fef or frack. Flip flap. Flip flap it's frack. flop. It's frack. It's frack. You oh, got to say frack. So, it, so it's not flip flap flop. No, it's frack. You got to say frack this man. Just right. to confirm, have you had a haircut, Bane? <laughs> I have. Do you like it? It's, it's uh, very nice, sir. It's very look nice. Look at, look at his face. So gorgeous. So. The way this is going to work, I right? I a bit farther. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. Do you know what, man? Frack you. <laughs> um, so the way the way this is going to go is basically the guys in the chat are going to relay commands. Although there is a 60 second delay on YouTube. And then we're going to give oh, the... Oh, 60 seconds. Is that it? <laughs> oh, it's only a minute. But they're going to give commands, hopefully ahead of time for each ship in the next turn. And they can choose from things like, uh, if they say right, 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 we'll move the ship right. And I'll, I'll, I'll basically, I'll say which ship we're going to select first. Um, All right. All right. And, we'll, and we'll probably move from the left ship, mo mo outermost left ship first, and then we'll move to the right. But people are going to relay commands. It's going to take a bit of a while each mission. Um, if they want to boost the engines forward, for example, they need to say, you know... Um, all, all ahead full or something like that all ahead flank speed yeah and if they want to because missiles reload in this game i don't know if you've ever seen deadlock but missiles take a while to reload so if they want to fire missiles they they, they have to say missiles 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 but here's the trick we will only shoot at the nearest target because obviously we can't go that complex a command so you guys in the video in the chat have this to is gonna actually be it's gonna go terribly wrong and our entire <laughs> fleet will probably die um, but you guys have got a director, so I'm, I'm there's going to be a little bit of leeway. I am going to try and direct my ship into the best kind of possible course, he says. I might screw it up, but we'll see. Uh, but, like, for example, if we get a ship that has fighters and you want to launch vipers, you'll just say launch, 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 and stuff like that. But you've got to give me the commands, because I'm not going to look at the chat, man. I'm not going to look at the chat. You're going to give me the commands. You've got to explain oh, them to me. Good. Your TACCOM. So so everybody who's watching today is going to be uh, our tactical officers. Uh, they're going to be giving us all of the advice that we need in order to make this work. And I'm going to be re relaying commands to you. So I'm Saul Tai, is what I am. Absolutely, because I thought you'd like that. Right? Right? It's in the fracking ship! So that's that's the plan. Um, Viking's going to be moderating for us as well. Um, so You're a good egg. So let's just do a quick test. So... I want everyone in the chat. In fact, no, I've, I've, I can't do this. You've got to do this. Your tactical command. So you've got to get everyone to just do a test command quickly. Okay, tactical officers. What do you think Bane should do with his left eyeball? <laughs> Can I move one on my own? So uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. Darian wants full speed ahead. Ahead flank speed. Viking wants ahead flank speed. Yes, Batman, it just started, my, my man. Uh, so you haven't missed anything yet. So is there, is there a big delay? Because I don't know if you can see the stream. Is there a big delay? Is it a big delay? Uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like about a 30 or 40 second delay uh, from what I can see. Right. So so this, this is where the commands will take some time to get right. But hopefully people will get used to it. It will speed up because they can just go right next. I, I can see that this turn's going to happen. They're going to watch it because it takes about 30 seconds for all that movement to happen or the guns mm -hmm. to fire, the missiles to fire. And by then they would have put the next set of commands in for you. Yeah? Fingers crossed. That's, Fingers crossed. That is the plan. I, I don't know if you've noticed in, um, in Battlestar Galactic, the 2004 Onward series, that, yeah. um, that whole behavior 
Yes. Did you find that Sol Tai spent most of his time just stealing Adama's noodles? That uh, seemed to be like a recurring and constant, uh, the English gent says, ramming speed. I could ram in my eyes, look. Like, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, he, he liked he liked nicking noodles. He was a noodle nicker. Nicker noodles. He was a noodle nicker. He was also a whiskey drinker. They, a whiskey drinking noodle nicker. They had a fracking <laughs> ton of noodles. They must have had like one ship in the fleet dedicated to noodle Production. Noodle production. Yeah. Fracking noodles everywhere, man. I tell you. Right. You know what you want to do less, would you? Shall I go to the Tillium mine or shall I produce noodles? Mm. 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 Decisions. <laughs> Decisions. Right. Uh, let's. Oh, I might know. If you right click the video and click stats for nerds, it will tell you the length of the seat. Uh, the seat? What's the. I don't know what he means by seat. Stats for nerds. Stats for nerds. Stats oh, for nerds. Uh, the live latency is 47.28 seconds. At oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can live with that. Right, we're going to do it on Lieutenant difficulty because I just don't trust you guys to, to save me. <laughs> so we, we will start with the tutorials because that's important. We'll skip this George, but it'll give us a chance to see if people get After the Vergon blown. buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 Th colonies will. promised we would never see <laughs> war of that scale I again. That they will. Peace <laughs> would reign in our lifetime. So we've got a little and video the lifetimes here. of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in oh, colonial history. And, silence. and we are at a stalemate. Bastards. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace Ooh. in the hole. The largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each battle of the stars. 12 colonies were promised mm. one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. I'm a little bit upset with myself. I forgot to make coffee. That's, that's, do, I, you can't be making a coffee during tactical command now. That's just, that's just <laughs> unprofessional. I'll have to have whiskey instead. Yeah, absolutely. Well, just, the um, first, that sounds Galactica, like so tight. was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks oh, after. Oh no, Galactica's gone missing. Cylon. Galactica's missing. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. Darian scared. We were days away from scene. delivering we're not gonna do that. when we heard the news. Viking would like to know if you know if you've got the reinforcement pack. I have no freaking clue. Pycon's we'll capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Oh, she looks so new. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to operations commander of the entire colonial fleet. Ha! <laughs> no pressure. Kane girl. intends immediate retaliation for the attack on Pycon. It's gonna be fine. The war room awaits your arrival, Commander. The English gent says uh, he finished his campaign earlier in the week. Uh, the name Deadlock is very fitting to this game. Prepare to struggle. <laughs> no, no point telling me to struggle. It's you guys in the stream that have got to make the choices. Oh, there's an important question. Uh, Viking would like to know. Are we able to change the ship names? Uh, if it's doable, then yes. But you get to pick them. <laughs> I'm just almost controlling. Ready to deliver. But Sinan says I can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to PyCon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while You've you deal with the toasters. To Good hunting, Commander. Something or other. Good hunting, Commander. Proceed. Mission one is loading, Tactical Commander. You better get your ass ready. My ass is always ready, I can confirm. 
I think I think the first two ships, to be fair, should be named Bane and Gull. That's that's my it's feelings. It's time to make our presence known in this war. I, I know what you like. You'll I get Gull you killed on purpose. I I'm not controlling the ships ship. to move full speed oh, towards the enemy. Gull will get Gull killed nothing, on purpose. Then probably. nothing to do with me. So this one's pretty much easy. I know that they're going to give us commands to do anyway, but we'll, we'll let you guys still do stuff. How do we change the names anyway? Is there a way to do it? Maybe you can't do it here. I don't know if you can do it here. Was that Star Wars music you were just humming to yourself? No. So we've got the first ship, which is... Oh, we're going to do left to right. So we're going to do the... Uh, what ship is this? This is the Manticore, is it? Oh, no, it's a Manticore class. Okay. This is Lancer. So this is the ship Lancer. Okay. Right then, what do we want to do with the Lancer? Now, I, I recognise that they are giving us things to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like they want us to go ahead. All right, guys, where do we want the Lancer to go? Do we want it to go straight ahead, as is being suggested to us? Or do you want to try and do something different? So we can go around to the right, we can go around to the left, or we can go forward. There is one contact. Only one contact. This shouldn't be a problem, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, you need to say left, left, we left. We can rename our ships. We can. Right. We can do left, 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 or right, 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 or forward. Also, if anybody comes up with an awesome name for this ship, we will change the name of it. It's got to be memorable, though, and as few characters as possible. <laughs> It's in the map-based turn section you can rename. Right, well, we'll do that in the next section. Left, 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 says Darian. All right, Darian wants us all to move left. That was right. Uh... <laughs> we'll wait to see if there's any other commands going through. So first ship. This is going to go terribly. <laughs> is he the only command coming through? Yeah, Darian is our only commander right now. Tactical officer Darian has got this. Left ship all ahead. Right ship hard starboard. Right ship hard starboard. Right, well you've got to give me the commands when you feel you're ready, go. So when you feel you've got enough information from the, the chat, I will move Lancer. Okay, the Lancer, is she the ship on the left? She's the ship on the left. We're always going to do left to right with the ships. So. Okay, well we've, we've got two commands. They do conflict with each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to go as far ahead as possible and also turn off to the left while we're at it. Okay. So give us about a 45 degree angle. There we go. And she's right, moving to stuff. the left. <laughs> Jarrell says uh, he'd like us to name one of our ships HMS Sibian. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that ship is moving to the left. Good stuff. What okay. would you like to do with the right ship? The other ship is called the Perseys. And the Perseys? Yes. As opposed to the Bagsies? Yeah. We do have an enemy target towards the front of us. All right, we've got an enemy target directly in front of us. Ladies and gentlemen, what would you like us to do with this ship? Do we want to engage by moving ahead all at flank speed? Let's see what we get out of this. Could be anything. So just a reminder, guys, you decide what happens to each ship. You can put orders in in advance. So you need to give the commands. You need to type in the chat, right, 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 if you want to go to the right. Left, 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 so if you want to go to the left. Back. You need to give us a command for the Percy's. Forward. All full speed ahead, if you want it to go forward. Guns, 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 if you want us to shoot. Missiles, 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 if you want us to fire the missiles. You guys are deciding this, so you guys need to be hitting that in the chat, what you want to happen. Darian says missiles, missiles, Darian missiles. Darian wants us to fire missiles immediately. Okay. 
What? I, need know, I think we need to get closer to them anyway. So let's go. Uh, take left on the. Take a left on the right. What are you jabbering? Take a left on the right. Okay. You want me to do that? Is that where we're going? Slightly to the left. <laughs> Why not? And fire missiles as well. Okay. Ramming speed. We're not quite ready for yet. Yes, commander. We're not close enough this turn. I not don't... I'm suggesting that we are going to do that. Right, and then the Daedalus we can't control at the moment, so we're going to end the turn. Our ships use fire the commands are being processed. To automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move the range. self -destruct. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away <laughs> we've got, their target We've got is. such uh, supportive guys watching us today. You can access a ship's fire control. TACCOM, TACCOM, situation to report. Yourself. Enemy target detected forward of the Perseus. Waiting orders, over. So left ship first. Manticore has no targets. Target is bearing to the right over. Needing orders. Requesting orders. All right. So uh, the Manticore, in order to be able to engage fire missiles or anything of that ilk, or indeed engage in ramming speed, she needs to come to the right. Tactical commanders, do you think that's what we want to do? Darian says you should abandon ship. Is that, is that a function? Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so Vikings put some information there. TACCOM, we're unable to fire missiles until target is identified. Over. I think we haven't had anything through quite yet. So I think I might have to make an executive decision here. Uh, I think you want to swing her around to the right and give her a full burn towards the enemies. Right, so we need to type right, right, right. Right, right, right. Yes, we have a right, yeah, right, Ulf right. Ulf has gone right. for it. That's what he wants. Right, let me pull back to the ship. I need to get back to the ship itself. Where is the ship? Da, 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 da. See what happens when you... Uh, yeah, everyone's going right. Let's do this. Right. Okay, we're going right. TACCOM, TACCOM. Except for Darian, who we're going to ignore. No, we're going to ignore Darian. TACCOM moving to the right to engage. Over. Any other commands? Uh, no other commands at this point. Uh, people seem to want you to fire your missiles, but the target isn't verified yet. For the target is verified once it's been spotted. So I can fire some missiles. Okay, do you want to fire that at the end of the turn? Oh, it's not completely verified. We've got turrets first. I can't do it yet, unfortunately. Because okay, we'll wait. This is the we'll tutorial. Wait. Anyway, let me. But we are engaging. Um, the English gent says you can adjust the camera a little bit. If you bring it out more, then we can see more of the map and uh, uh, go, go for better choices. I'll do that. So, I am ending the turn, TACCOM. Okay, we have engaged. Asterix thinks the ship name should be Ball on Fire and Smelly IFF acid. confirms unit is hostile. Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent Corvette. <laughs> Hayden says, brilliant idea damage. this. Let the chat control your ships. <laughs> okay, TACCOM, TACCOM. Emergency, emergency. One of our ships is about to be rammed by a Nemesis class Cylon cruiser. Requesting orders. Over. Okay, so the Perseus is about to be rammed. It looks like we need what to do duck we low. Do, do we want to fire at them and uh, basically play a fantastic game of chicken with them? Or <laughs> do we want to try and avoid them? Ironic says you shouldn't ram. Okay. Well, I don't get to make these decisions to chat to. So just a reminder, once again, the commands, guys, you've got right, 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 left, 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 full speed ahead if you'd like us to boost, or you can just say forward, forward, forward. If you want to fire missiles, it's missiles, missiles, missiles. If you want to fire guns or lock on focus fire, it's guns, 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 and so on and so forth for other abilities as well. You also have the capacity to talk about going up or down as well. If you think that's something that we need to do, uh, just let us know. Uh, Alexander Straker does not want us to ram. He absolutely, adamantly doesn't want us to ram. Um, Crozat wants us to brace. Uh, Ironix, uh, he's got a good suggestion here. He says, go under and then turn. Uh, it doesn't say which way, but I presume that turning to the left would actually be beneficial to you. All right. Uh, by virtue of the fact 
that it would maintain. Oh, English gent says, right ship, dive, dive, dive. Uh, we've got, yeah, oh, there we go. We've got a direction and uh, a lot of people are saying go downwards. So let's go downwards and turn it, turn the ship to the right. Roger that, TACCOM. Course engaged, over. These Cylon Dive and missiles, won't hold up says to Viking. Fire. Focus uh, your uh, do we have a firing solution for the missiles? Punch through their armor and destroy the hull. I'll check with you in a second. These ships also have long-range guided munitions. Useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Yes, Commander. Yeah, everyone thinks go to the right and go downwards. So that, that's that's pretty uniform from the uh, from the squad. Okay, missiles engaged. Second ship, Lancer, waiting for orders. Tatcom. One target bearing to the right. One target bearing to the left. Requesting orders. Tatcom. Okay, so we've got a second target now, have we? That's affirmative. Two Nemesis class cruisers. Okay, guys. Do we want to continue engaging the first Nemesis? Uh, and try and destroy that with both ships, or do we want to swing off with the uh, with our which ship is this one? This is the Lancer. Uh, do we want to swing off with the Lancer and engage the second target? You let us know what you want to do. What do you think, Ben? What, what do you think your best? chances are here do you think both ships on one target or do you think perhaps engaging individually is going to help you more uh to be honest tatcom we believe that engaging and killing one target while keeping our uh making sure our flank isn't exposed is the best choice in this situation we've got very very fragile uh, rear armor <laughs> armor is best towards the front Everyone agrees that you should fire your missiles. Uh, it appears that they are undecided as to which contact they want to fire at. Uh, okay. The English gent does want us to go left hard to port and fire on the new contact. Okay. However, uh, some of the other ship, uh, some of the other tactical officers appear to be of the opinion. Oh, hard left. All right, so we've, we've got two confirmations that uh, they want the Lancer to turn left hard. Uh, and engage the new contact. Can you find missiles on the new contact as well? On it, Commander. What does that attack on preparing to fire missiles on target two Nemesis class? Focusing fire on second target. There we go. Executing maneuvers. We'll see what happens. Missiles incoming! Incoming missiles, TACCOM, incoming missiles. Oh, bugger. You've got a bit of paint to paint over the oars. Commander, your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. <laughs> Vegeta says, don't forget Tell to hit that like button and show your support. Those ships Even if it is hot sticks what they can. <laughs> I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your It's engagement. both of us today. It's just Bane's pressing all the buttons and I'm chilling. TACCOM, TACCOM, this is the Perseys, over. This is the Perseys. Target is high and right. Target is high and right. Awaiting orders, over. Okay. I'm just going to let the stream catch up a little bit so I can see what's happened. Looks like you're in quite an interesting position now, uh, to me. Now, as we are looking at the Perseus first, I believe, if I'm right. We are indeed. I have launched Vipers from the station as well. You've launched Vipers from the station, excellent. Now, it looks to me, uh, I don't know if you agree with me, chat, that the Perseus, should she swing right, she will be able to maintain maximum fire on the enemy target. She could probably do with uh, not going too far forward, actually just uh, taking it easy, uh, letting the other ship come round while continuing to batter her. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> Ironix is getting mad with this because we're attacking both rather than one at once. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can only proceed with your orders, TACCOM. Okay, Ulf believes that we should blast that toaster into scrap metal. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, remember guys, I'm going to say it once again, we want to see those uh, orders. You can put the orders in advance, so you need to be typing in the chat. Right, right, right. Left, left, left. Guns, guns, guns. Missiles, missiles, missiles. All, are fo all forward ahead or all speed ahead to go forward and let us know. Mm -hmm. All those, of course, ahead low speed if you don't want us to move too much. You can put the ship name as well in front if you want to. Do we have any orders, Techcom? Uh, the English gent says Percy's uh, wants to come about hard starboard, ascend and continue firing on the nearest target. So uh, that is turn to the right towards the um, towards the closest target, continue firing on and raise the ship up a little bit so you're in line with it. Roger that, Tacom. We're now going to proceed to the right. Yep, I think that's the way to go. We're going to continue to engage. Lancer awaiting orders. Target is low to the left. Repeat, target is low to the left. Yeah, it looks like, considering the way that you're already going, uh, it would be unwise for you to continue in that direction, and you're going to have to make a decision as to whether to turn left or right and continue firing on your target. So we're currently zeroed in on the target on the left. Do you wish us to change target? Wolf thinks the uh, the Lancer should turn left, hard left, in towards the enemy ship. Hard left. Is that your final orders, Tatcom? We shall see. That's the only order that we got right now. So we're going to go with our tactical officers. Do we want to go up or down at all? It looks like it's below us, so perhaps we want to go down a little bit. What do you reckon, guys? Salty wants to take us, take you in a skirmish of deadlock. Left, left, and dive, says Grossar. Okay, that's a confirmation. So definitely turn hard to uh, hard to the left, and uh, we'll take a little bit of a dive. Activating maneuvers, TACCOM. So, I mean, I'd probably try and go the least amount of distance that you can on this segment. Subsystem repairs are complete. It keeps you close to the enemy ship. How many, uh, how many more turns until we have missiles again? Two turns till missiles are able to fire, TACCOM. Two turns till missiles are able to fire. Okie dokie. This is Viper Squadron. Viper Squadron. We have now launched from Daedalus Control. Requesting target, over. Two okay. contacts, one left, one right. Please choose the target to relay to Viper Squadron. Okay, the Viper Squadron. Do they want to fire at the target on the left or the target on the right? You let us know. Some nice hits there. Good stuff. A little bit behind, of course, as you know. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's your answer. Uh, Ironics. You're asking what the what the uh, French connection, the Vipers, are doing. Uh, they are waiting for your orders currently. Just a reminder, guys. There is a slight stream delay of about one minute. So. You might not be seeing everything as quick as we can, so that's why we need you to try and anticipate the next set of orders, if you can, for the stream for this to work. That's right. As the turn's happening, it might be worth you thinking, okay, so I want this to happen next, and then just pop it out with your orders immediately. Uh, that way we'll only have a delay of about 20 seconds as opposed to the 47 seconds that we currently have. Lanticore's bow guns are their most powerful and focus on the ship left ship with vipers. Uh, that's what we've got. Apparently the right contact is going for the dry docks and that's a bit of a concern. Um, mm, English Gen seems to think the vipers should split into two separate squadrons and attack both targets individually. Tacom, we're waiting for your orders, over. Yeah. 
Here we go. Everyone's having an argument about it. I'm gonna wait until the argument's over. Right, uh, the primary consensus appears to be go for the right target with the Vipers. Vipers selecting target, right target, Nemesis yes, class. Second Viper squadron selecting target, target, Nemesis Squadron's class. Target is confirmed. This is Manticore class, ship Perseus requesting instructions. We have an enemy Nemesis class cruiser proceeding to the dry docks. They are directly high and above us to the front. Requesting instructions. TACCOM over. Okay, as we know the bow cannons are the most important cannons on this particular ship, I would advise on doing everything you can to keep it in front of us uh, and just firing away with your bow cannons. You're not quite ready for missiles again yet. So that would be my advice. What, does, what do the guys think? Remember, guys, you can uh, you can tell us what you want us to do before you start seeing it on the screen. So as soon as the turn ends, uh, tell us what you want to do with all three squadrons that we have. Uh, Ford. Uh, forward and slightly to the left, a little bit upwards, uh, in order to continue engaging with your bow cannons. Uh, Confirmed. Engaging with bow cannons. This okay, is the let's see. Manticore class ship Nemesis. We have target bogey right in front of us, down, proceeding away from us to the right. Requesting instructions over TACCOM. Okay. And this one's the Lancer, isn't it? This is the Lancer. This is the Lancer. All right, what do we want to do with the Lancer, guys? <laughs> Vegeta just says pew pew with everything. Uh... <laughs> Which I don't think is unreasonable. <laughs> so let's just take a look at her. Uh, it looks like that ship is uh, proceeding from left to right, doesn't it? So, um, to be honest with you, I think just swinging, uh, swinging round, coming almost directly forward or slightly to the right of where you are now, uh, is going to be fine. Not going too fast. And maybe going downwards very slightly is going to be your best option and continue firing. That'll be my advice. Medium right turn and a little bit down. Yeah, that's that's practically what I said. Class is uh, effectively agreeing with me there. Yeah, the delay does suck a little bit. I'm sorry, uh, English. But as I say, uh, try and anticipate so what's going to happen are. next. Uh, so yeah, let's turn right slightly, uh, move downwards, and continue firing on the on the primary target that you've chosen. Tacom ships are engaging targets. Over. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys, start putting in what you think is going to need to happen for the next turn. Um, this Viking, the... I would disagree. It's not the encoder we use, uh, by virtue of the fact that you you use H.264 in the same way that we do. So it's not the encoder. Um, it's the software rather than the, than the encoder. It's actually um, different on Twitch and YouTube as well. If you stream on Twitch, it's like literally live, live. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, everybody's aware that you've now got missiles. They want you to, during this turn, with both of your primary vessels, fire missiles at your targets. Uh, so we've already got that sorted out. Negative, TACCOM. Missile still reloading. Karen, one oh, zero what? minutes till ready to fire. That's highly... Un that's just unacceptable behaviour. <laughs> right, what are we going to go for first here? This is the Percy's class. Target to the left. Over. Target to the left requiring orders. 
Okay, let's see what we've got. Uh, Ulf simply says, hunt them down. Keep your peering until there's nothing left. Um, so, yeah, follow it round to the left, try and keep behind it and keep firing on it, is, is the consensus for the Perseus. Perseus engaging forward target. This is the Lancer requesting further audits. Target beginning to bank left, back towards Daedalus Station. Okay, we've already got one for the Lancer. Uh, classes uh, suggested going forward uh, and to the left. So we'll do that. And of course, keep firing. Okay. <laughs> Activate and maneuver. Can you specifically target engines? Uh, I do not believe so. I okay. might be wrong though. Uh, it's just something that the English gent said there. Percy's remain behind the enemy target and attack the engines. I'll see you later, Aronix. Have a good one. This is the Percy's. Target banking to the right for the dry docks directly in front of us. Missiles are now available, TACCOM. Missiles are loaded. Missiles are loaded, ladies and gentlemen. I think perhaps we want to use those in order to, uh, to destroy it before it gets to the dry docks. We would Missiles benefit from locked. Missiles are locked, okay. Well, you may as well um, do a hard burn towards it. Uh, try and get nice and close to it and fire those missiles. Yes, Commander. That would be my, uh... <laughs> my fun times. This is the Lancer. Target to the right and veering right. Requesting orders. Missiles are loaded. Missiles are loaded. Well, let's see what the guys say. Okay, we definitely don't want a broadside, because there are no broadsides. <laughs> you do more damage to their area from attacking behind, so try and keep behind it if you have the uh, a if you have the possibility to do so. Okay. Uh, are you in a position where you can follow it round to the right? And definitely fire the missiles. Missiles locked. Firing Understood. missiles. Executing manoeuvres over TACCOM. Hey Dan, how's it going my man? TACCOM, TACCOM, it's primary target destroyed. All hostile contacts hey, Secondary target destroyed. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander We're would good, like Eric, to replay the So we've destroyed both targets. Uh, do we need to repair or do anything of that kind of behaviour? We're going to just watch the replay so we can see how the battle presumed. Yeah, so we're going to do okay. that now. Let's see how we did as, as, a, as a large and cumbersome team. <laughs> The English gent said they were easy prey, and I think he was right. I'm not even really sure if they got any shots off against Jim. Only in the very first segment did they get any sh real shots. one of your ships took uh, missiles. Indeed. So that was a pretty good first mission, I think. Yeah, both ships survived. All the naughty men are dead. Oh, 
Apparently the chat overlay is, co uh, is covering a little bit of the uh, UI. That is unfortunately one of the one of the things. I don't think there's anything we can do about that, really, is there? Not unfortunately in this one. Maybe I'll, do, I'll sort it out for next time. But that is a victory. We're going to proceed to the next mission, uh, and we'll get we're about to rename the ships now. So, guys, congratulations, um, Commander. If you start putting in ship names to, to it uh, into the uh, into the chat, uh, Gold will pick two ship names at random, and we will rename the ships. Yeah, slam some names in there. We'll see what uh, what jumps out of us. Anything that you like within reason. Can't if, be naughty it's, names. if it's possible to do, of course, because I no naughty know. names. I don't know if in the tutorial Kane has part, got we her can, stomping boots on. We can do this. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of colonial fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. Well, apparently we get but to use the Athena class in the next one. I lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some Just out of interest, can you play as the Cylons in this, or do you have to play as the... Uh, Daedalus is ready to that jump on your command, for, uh, sir. I'm not sure at the moment. So it doesn't look like we can change the names or see our fleet yet, as far as I'm aware. Oh. That's a bit sad. I can see the ships there, but I don't seem to be able to control them yet, so... so. Of course, I think it's got to be ships that you've built, hasn't it, etc. Yeah, so uh, we, can, we can sort out. We're going to jump to the next mission. I'm going to jump to PyCon. <laughs> and we're going to proceed. I hope you're ready, Tatcom. Okay, I've got a couple of uh, fun ship names for for when we're ready. So uh, I'll be Prepare keeping those in the bank. In three, uh, two, the ones that I like best one. so far are the Rubber Ducky and the Spooky Kumquat. Jump complete. <laughs> Dreadus contacts bearing zero one seven, Karam zero two one. Pycon and the rest of the twelve colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. So you've played a little bit aside from the uh, tutorial, haven't you? If I'm right, Bane. Uh, only a couple of missions, so not not too much. Well, what are your thoughts? Uh, so far, I like it. I think it's good. It's been good. So, TACCOM, we're ready for another mission. We have the Athena now, which is a battle star. Two medicals. We have three Dreadus contacts. TACCOM, three Dreadus contacts. Oh, this could be interesting. We have launched Vipers already from the Daedalus and Davina as per standard protocol. Excellent. So let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the Vipers first. What do we want to do with them? We've got three well, targets. It will before. take one turn before the Vipers are launched. Ooh, can't do anything with those yet. So this is the ship Lancer requesting orders. Tacom requesting orders. Okay. Is the Lancer on the left or the right? Lancer is on the left. We'll always start on the left ship first. Okay. That sounds good to me. How much does the game cost? Uh, class would like to know. Um, I believe it's about thirty pounds, maybe a little bit less than that now. It's probably about forty dollars then. Uh, I'd wait until it's on sale, to be honest with you, given that it's turn-based, uh, and it's kind of a situational thing, in my opinion. Like you only want to do turn-based when you want to do turn-based, don't you? That's at least that's my opinion. Indeed, I agree. That is some extreme typing I'm hearing. <laughs> Indeed it is. It does have the $5 DLC, which uh, Hayden suggests getting. Apparently the DLC is pretty good, people are saying. 
Okay, so we've got three Draenei's contacts. We've got uh, we'll call them left, middle, and right just for posterity. Uh, is there one that's closer, uh, Bane? They're all about equidistant. There is one slightly closer on the right-hand flank. All right. Uh, everyone's saying all ahead with a slight right tack. Uh, so it looks like people want to go for the central target. Okay. All ships proceeding to right head to verify targets, over. So say we all. So say we all. So say we all. Executing orders. So, yeah, they're definitely suggesting that they want both frigates to attack one target, ideally. Um, it looks like the right target, almost, that people are, are Ships more are not in. lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. So we have new orders available, TACOM. Tacom, you are now able to, choose, able to choose postures. You can choose offensive or defensive postures every turn. They've suggested they were the, like the Daedalus into defense mode already. That's all, that's already a thing that's been suggested, so. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offense. Uh, really, well, after this turn, we've got our fighters as well. Uh, so let's decide what we want to do with All them. hands on deck! The Daedalus is now in defensive mode. This is okay, Viper Squadron stuff. Alpha from the Daedalus shipyard. Please give orders over for Daedalus Squadrons 1 and 2. Okay, so the Daedalus Squadrons um, <laughs> execute order 66. Um, I would personally be tempted, and I don't know if anybody in the chat agrees with me, to send all Vipers towards the left-hand target. What do you reckon, guys? They want to try and get the, uh, the Athena into full offensive mode and get a broadside on to whatever target that she wants to go for. Probably the central target. Central target appears to have launched raiders. Perhaps uh, Dan suggests that you should use vipers to intercept those raiders. I think that's a good call. Understood. These are Viper Squadron Alpha. Roger that. We are heading to unverified target to engage. Over. Okay, and uh, your other group of Vipers, you've got another group, haven't you? Yep, this is Viper Squadron Bravo, launching from the Athena class Battlestar, awaiting orders, TACCOM. It has been suggested that that should go for the central target. Roger that, TACCOM, proceeding to engage central target. Understood. Given that the central target launched raiders, it's likely to be the most dangerous. I think that's fair to suggest, isn't it? Unable to verify at this time, Tacom. Ship not yet verified. This is the Manticore This is the Manticore class Lancer requesting orders. Over. Okay, uh, Lancer is of course the one on the left. What do we want to do with that? Uh... <laughs> Everyone's just arguing in the chat. <laughs> We're not going to get any sense out of him. Um, I think given that... Given the situation that we're in, it might be worth going hard right um, with uh, the Perseus in order to have both it and the other frigate attack the target on the right. It does leave our left flank exposed, but I like to think that the Athena and the Daedalus station can uh, can deal with anything, uh, at least that? in the short term. Firing yes, missiles and turrets on the nearest Nemesis class. 
and the Athena can just continue cruising towards the central target. Engaging execution of orders. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. New targets identified, TACCOM. I have a talent class carrier. All right, do we know the uh, the capability uh, of the talent class character? Properties include a hole of 70, left, right, armor of 70, front of 20, rear of 20, top, bottom of 70. This is the Athena requesting orders, TACCOM requesting orders. Okay, the Athena probably wants to go towards that carrier uh, and fire upon it. Apparently its bow cannons are, its, uh, are still its best. Understood. So perhaps just having it chug away at that talon is the best thing to do. Athena engaging <laughs> the talon. Vegeta says all ships use their best judgment. Daedalus is lightly armed and armoured. It can't withstand prolonged combat. Uh, I suspect that's true of, uh, true of it. However, I don't think one run is going to uh, have it destroyed. Uh, we'll, we'll see if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, let's have, the, let's have the Athena go for the talent. I think that's the way forward. Uh, are the Vipers uh, doing their thing already? They are still launching. Good stuff. Perseus and Lancer are still on course for the original Nemesis. Okie dokie. Executing orders. Everyone is agreeing with the uh, sending of the Athena to all the talent. And uh, both Monticor is continuing to focus down at the right to Nemesis. Uh, I think on judgment, I think that's the right Use thing to do. So I think that's what we're doing the next turn. Or defend good? any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. TACCOM, we are now being hacked over. Repeat, we are being hacked. Both manticores are taking damage from hacking. Okay, is there anything that we can do about that in order to protect ourselves? Or do we quite simply need to destroy that, uh, that nemesis as quickly as possible? Uh, I think it's more a case of needing to destroy the raiders that are now attacking the um, the the war diver squadron, which is now uh, hacking the manticore. So it could yeah, use yeah. some viper support if we look at our vipers. I think that's a good idea. They're targeting Talon. They're all, all our vipers are currently targeting Talon. Okay, let's. Uh... I agree. Ch let's change that up. Let's uh, let's try and destroy any air support that they have with our fighters. This is Bravo Squadron, please give targets. Do you wish us to continue attacking Talon? Uh, how many enemy squadrons do we have? One. We have four squadrons of Vipers. Okay. Uh, perhaps uh, Bravo Squadron, or the, t the two remaining squadrons, would be best place to peel off and go for the other Nemesis. Because we're not going to have a problem destroying yes, that, uh, that talent with the Athena. Engage. Well, 
Alright, let's do this. Missiles incoming! This is the Athena requested orders. Do you wish us to continue attacking the Talon? I'm going to go with yes. Blow that thing out of the sky. Maybe go upwards as well. Mm hmm. Should we wait for the, uh, the chat to catch up, though, a little bit? I think we should. What kind of health is everything on at the moment? Uh, let's, uh... Uh, we'll well, there's yellow. some damage to the Talon. And chat, if you're watching, you should remember to put your orders in the command. Uh, the Manticore, our, one of our Manticores is about to be hit up the rear side with some missiles, it looks like. One of our Manticores is currently being hacked um, and is directly below the Nemesis, which is taking a lot of damage. It now has no it's one armor on the rear, it's got 34 hull left. So one nemesis is very, very damaged. Okay. Well, I presume your two manticores can continue focusing down that nemesis. Apparently you can have your Vipers intercept missiles. Uh they're not very good at it. So it's probably not worth it. I would have your Vipers continue to attack the uh, the enemy fighters. Okay, this is the Lancer requesting orders, TACCOM. Uh, Lancer... Well, take it slow. Um, allow that to pull ahead of you and then continue firing bow cannons, bow cannons at the Nemesis. Okay, is that, is that what the chat wants, is it? Uh, one thing that they have suggested is setting the Athena to full offensive mode. Full offensive, okay. Athena is uh, going to change his posture. His posture's gone to offensive. All hands on deck! It's targeting the Talon as requested. Okay. Um... Everyone's suggesting uh, have your vipers now that the fighters, the enemy fighters, are down. Uh, all go against that third target. Okay. That third traders contact, I should say. Third traders contact. Roger that. Yes, sir. Uh, and your remaining manticores are to continue to pummel that uh, nemesis into submission. Understood. Okay, I think we're there, aren't we? I think we're there. Everybody else is happy. They seem to be. Okay, executing orders. Let's see how this goes. So unfortunately one of our manacles is unable to fire due to the... Um, the hackage. The hackage. So say we all. Any new orders, Tacom? 
Uh, nothing at present. The, ter the turn hasn't uh, gone for, for us yet, though. Still waiting for that. Okay. Hayden seems to think if you turn the Athena broadside onto that talon, it's going to melt it. Uh, some of the other chat are disagreeing. Well, she has a lot of guns on the top of the bow star. Uh, she has some guns underneath at the front, but she's not in the right position really to use her because she's quite low in the moment. The talon's quite high. So it's probably better to use the guns actually on top. Okay, let's do that. To, to fire at her. You need to repair the fire control on your uh, on your the talon that is damaged. Not, do I mean talon? I don't mean talon, do I? On the uh, manticore that's damaged? Yeah. She's currently actually repairing that already. So. All right, good stuff. So guys, remember to give your orders in the chat. We're not getting so much in now. Not getting so much in. I think people are struggling with the latency a little bit. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I, I wish there was less latency, but uh, what can you do? I think I think you can kind of anticipate a little bit what the ships are going to do. So it is possible to queue up those orders, even with the latency. Are the missiles up yet on the manticores? The missiles are available on the manticores, TACCOM. Alright, they're suggesting that you smash that nemesis into pieces. Okay. Firing control system is currently being repaired on both. On both? Yeah, let me um, see if I can stop that repair, I can. Yeah, and what's the health of that nemesis? I mean, is it about to go down or? It's got 34 hull left. Mm. But its right front and rear armor has pretty much had it. Yeah, the, the English gents really. Uh, uh, he definitely wants you to try and use the broadside uh, on the Talon. Okay. I'm going to try to get that broadside activated. There we go. Fighters are already doing their thing, so we're not concerned about those, at least temporarily. Am I good to execute orders, TACCOM? I believe you are. Yeah, go for it. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. What kind of va uh, damage do the Vipers generally do? Uh, are they quite damaging? Use this or to they zone out weak? fighters and incoming Sorry, what's munitions. That? What kind of damage do the Vipers tend to do? Um, I don't know. But they, I mean, they seem to be pursuing okay. Uh, they seem to have done quite a, a, a bit, actually. So the top's already damaged, the rear, the left is damaged on this nemesis, so they're, they're not doing badly. I 
think this nemesis is probably going to die. People are asking us to switch to Twitch, which we can do after this mission if you want, guys. We can continue on Twitch, it's not a problem. If Goal is up for that. Tacom? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, of course, it's got to be you playing, but. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it might be a bit more fun for both of us, I think, then. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to move the Athena guys forward, and we will do the proper commands um, when we get out of this sort of lag situation that we're in at the moment. Um, I think the Talons are about to, to die anyway. So I'm what I'm going to do, Gold, just to keep this going for the minute. I will do the finish this mission off. So say yep. we all. With the rest of the orders. That sounds good to me. And the guys might not agree with my orders, but hey ho! I'm Understood. sure they will. I think what I'll do is I'll just um, once we move over to Twitch, I will just keep something going uh, that lets people know that we moved over to Twitch uh, on on YouTube, just so um, they can they can see the notification. I think that's probably a nice idea. Because the last thing I want people to think is that the stream is over and we're not doing it anymore. Absolutely. So, we'll probably take a five minute break, guys. Uh, and Missiles it will on their get way. That coffee I was bitching about earlier. Indeed. So, guys, what I'm going to do is just swing my ships around if I can. Uh, I'm going to boost the thrusters on some, repair the fire control on this one. Radius is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. Tacom, all targets have contact. been destroyed. Oh, eh? I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, well done. All there's in something one. else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the way you roll. Room. So we'll save the campaign here, guys. Admiral. Um, we're going to stream. Oh, we're we stream for a, a bit longer yet, Vegeta. Because we like that doing we that. To but we're going to switch to Twitch. So, guys, if you're watching now, we're going to switch to Twitch. What's our um, effective jump distance? We'll save the game here. It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an and, intermediary uh, we'll right jump back. to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, guys, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma in the in a second. I will get rid of some of the delay by streaming to Twitch Ragnar's directly. Clouds before the Cylons can attack. And Commander, gold we're going to need more ships. So do stick around. Head to Twitch for five minutes. Simmons one and two for the Jupiter class battle stars. We'll get that and we're only prepped to crunch Manticores right now. The floor cruiser. So I'm going to continue on the Twitch stream. I'll see you shortly, guys. See you shortly, guys.